feature in Hello Kitty Island Adventure Update 1.6 is Rain. There is a new series of quests that'll let you bring back the rain to the island. The quest line you're looking for is a clue on the shore. In order to get this quest, you do need to meet a few unlock conditions. We're not 100% sure of all of them, but you will need Retsuko to level 17 and have completed her swimming lessons quest. You will also need the ability to make beeswax, so you're gonna need Wish Me Mel and those crafting plans. Now, although it isn't an unlock condition, I wanted to let you know some of the materials that you're gonna need because there's quite a few of them and because Choco Cat is involved in this quest, so if you want to use his ability, be sure that you craft some of these items ahead of time. And just in case you're very low on resources, you may not want to start this quest until you have all of them. So you want to make sure you have 10 mechanisms, 10 iron ingots, 10 wood block, and 10 beeswax. In addition, you're going to need 100 seashells, 50 chocolate coins, and 5 sparks. Now there are other quests in 1.6 that are also going to use wood blocks, so I wanted to let you know just just in case you used up all of your sticks and coconuts making wood blocks for another quest, I might prioritize this one before the bridge building quest, but it really depends on what type of quest you want to do. So once you have this quest and you're pretty comfortable with the materials that you have, the quest you're looking for is a clue on the shore. So track the quest and go talk to Ritsuko. She explains that she found something on the beach and she wants to show it to you. So follow her over to Mount Hothead. You'll find her on the left side of the beach. And she shows you a treasure chest that has a chain around it and says that you can probably get it open together, but she wasn't able to open it on her own. So go over and interact with the chest. You'll be able to open it and you receive a treasure map. Unfortunately, neither of you know how to read it and you don't recognize any of the landmarks on the map. Ritsuko says that you should try talking to your friends, Kurobi, Batsmaru, and Peckle to see if they have any ideas. And of course, to consult with Choco Cat. When you talk to Peckle, he says he has no idea about the map, and when Retsuko asks him if he's seen anything mysterious around, he says there's all kinds of mysterious things in the mines, and then clarifies that he just means the physior and things. When you talk to Kurobi, he says that the island is magical and surprising, but he doesn't have any insights about the map. And one mysterious thing he's noticed, we've only had sunny days on the island. When you talk to Choco Cat, he finds the map intriguing, but he's not sure where the map is indicating. He also says he's unsure what the purpose of this machine is, and I think this is our first mention of there being a machine, and he wants you to tell him if you find any more clues. Head over and talk to Batsmaru. He says he has no idea what the treasure map is showing, but he says that there's a totally different mystery going on. He and Karomi have been hanging out, and they're pretty sure that the kelp maze is enchanted, and you both agree to keep one another informed. You and Retsuko regroup on the beach, talk to her back next to the chest, and she says the chest is the only new thing that she's noticed. But soon your friends arrive. That's 
Maru and Karomi have come up with something. When they were swimming around the area, they saw something. They say it was broken, like a ruin or something, or a foundation. And then they realized that the map was definitely of the area around the kelp maze. They just didn't recognize it without the kelp maze as a landmark. They'll follow everyone underwater. You can track them on your map and you'll find Red Zuko to the right of the kelp maze. Go and talk to her, Taco Cat arrives too. He says that the symbols match the ones on the treasure map, but he still has no idea what this mysterious foundation is for. And he hopes to work backwards from these mysterious foundations and recreate whatever used to be here. He'll start at once and let us know when he has a plan. After that, it takes you directly to a cutscene by Taco Cat's tent, and he says he thinks he can recreate something similar to the object that was there. There's some discussion on whether or not this might be risky, building something in order to test it, something that we don't know what it does, that might accidentally introduce dinosaurs to the island. And Taco Cat informs us he's going to need a lot of supplies and to bring him the supplies when you're ready. If you don't already have these supplies, what you're going to need are 10 mechanisms, 10 wood block, 10 iron ingots, and 10 beeswax. I didn't have these already, and I couldn't bring Chaco Cat with me to use his bonus because he's busy with the quest, so I just crafted everything that we needed. And this is where the quest is a little bit strange because the moment that you have all of the materials you need, the quest completes. This is kind of a strange place to break the quest, but that completes a clue on the shore, and this allows you to discover the next quest in the series, Island Stone. Luckily, you don't have to wait until Island Reset. You can continue this quest line right away. So track that Island Stone quest and go and talk to Chaco Cat. When you do, he says this is a big project, but together we'll uncover a new secret to the island and that we should bring him the supplies when we're ready. This kicks off the Island Stone quest and now we can head over to Chaco Cat and gift him the supplies and then he has us follow him to the foundation. Once you're there, talk to him again and he asks if we know what it's gonna do or if we'd like to hear his guess and he says he thinks it has something to do with the weather and he calls it the aqua faller. He automatically builds the machine and he says that we need to follow him back to his crafting bench. Now this may happen to you, maybe he goes back to his crafting bench, maybe not, but in mine I just talk to him right here, but really I think we're supposed to talk to him at the crafting bench and it makes the dialogue seem a little bit silly because he says swimming is fun but he admits he prefers dry land and that the crafting bench is the best place to talk about crafting. He immediately gives us the crafting plans for a rain island stone and he says that this power source is made from parts of the island brought together. He calls it an island stone and he's pretty proud of it. He wants to test it out so he'd like us to craft it soon. So head over to the crafting bench and craft the rain island stone. For this you'll need 100 seashells, 20 chocolate coins, and 5 sparks. 
the island stone quest completes as soon as you craft it. So again, this is kind of an interesting breaking point for this quest line, but you will immediately discover a new quest, rain or shine. Again, we're lucky we don't have to wait until island reset to do this. Track the quest from your quest log and go and talk to Choco Cat. Now Choco Cat should be at his bench, but for me and for a lot of other people, Choco Cat got stuck underwater, but you'll still be able to go and talk to him. Yeah, so if we're ready to test out the Rain Island Stone and find out if it can power our new contraption, and this kicks off the Rain or Shine quest. So talk to Choco Cat at the Aqua Faller. He says he thinks we're ready and asks us to do the honors. So if you go up to the machine and interact with it, you'll see the stone has been placed on the right side. The machine seems to start playing and making bubbles and sound, and we get a little pop up at the top of the screen saying it started to rain in Seaside Resort. And you can see little raindrops on the map on the left side. Go and talk to Choco Cat again. He's really excited that it works, but he's confused because he doesn't see an effect and he thought it was going to start to rain and then realizes that you're underwater. So next, head over to Seaside Resort. You'll see blue flowers that you can water in the rain. Each time you water one of them, a new raindrop will pop up. For me, Taco Cat got stuck underwater and this has happened for a couple of other people as well. So if this happens to you, just go find Choco Cat. It seems like as long as you're in sight of him, he will go and teleport back to the plaza. Now the next step is to talk to Choco Cat, but you might want to wait a few minutes and play in the rain. I don't know if this is a coincidence for me, but for me after I talked to him, the rain disappeared. So you may want to go around, find more of those blue flowers in Seaside Resort, water them, collect the raindrops that are inside, and then go talk to Choco Cat. When you talk to Choco Cat, he says it's raining and the machine worked. Ratsuko is here and she's confused as to why raining on vacation would be a good thing. But Kurobi says it'll keep the island healthy and there's probably critters and fish that only come out when it rains. And Choco Cat adds that we'll have to keep our eyes open and discover what changes around the island. And this completes the quest, Rain or Shine. From now on, you can have rain in any part of the island. You'll be able to see the little raindrops pop up on your map and there'll be a very brief notification at the top of the screen when it starts to rain in a given biome. When it does start raining, you probably want to go over to that biome and explore. We know from the collections that there is at least one new critter that's only out when it rains and one new type of fish. In addition, in many of the biomes, you're going to find these blue flowers to water. So far, I've found them in Seaside Resort, Spooky Swamp, and Merry Meadow. They're only out when it rains and they pop up in different areas each time it rains. I think the most I've been able to get in one biome in one rain is 14, but most of the other times it's been not nearly that many. Each time you water one, you will get a raindrop. Be sure to pick up those raindrops, water as many flowers as you can, because there's new rainy wallpaper, raincoats, and rain hats that you can find on rotation at My Melody Shop and Tuxedo Sam's, and you're gonna need raindrops for both of them. I think we've seen items ranging from 10 raindrops to 50 so far, and we got to see some of them in the trailer. I didn't have any in either of my shops on my first day, but on day two, I had the umbrella wallpaper. When it rains, you may also want to bring Paco because you'll be able to get around to all those different raindrop flowers faster. And if you manage to get them all and still have time left, the island bouquets do reset the flowers. They won't necessarily pop up in the same place, so you will have to look for them in all the different places to find them. That's a way to get the most raindrops when it rains. And although there have been some glitches, those flowers disappear the moment it stops raining. So hopefully this helps you get rain in Hello Kitty Island Adventure Update 1.6, the Cabins and Castles update. If you want to see the entire quest in real time and all the other quests you can do each day of the update, check out the live streams on the channel. I'm playing through most of the quests live on the channel and then there'll be video guides to help you later. Subscribe for more Hello Kitty Island Adventure content. Be sure to check out the shop where we have some new designs inspired by the game and turn on notifications to find out the next time we go live. Hope to see you there.